G'day, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. You joined the Pedal Picassos. If it's your first time, please give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, drop a comment in below. I'm going through the New X Trident, uh, their latest flagship multi effect processor. It's rock solid, and from all, from all uh, diving I've done so far, it's a ripper. I'm going to try um, and show you all of the amps that are provided in the processor today. There's 27 amps ranging from uh, pristine cleans through to gnarly, nasty, dirty uh, beasts. Um, and I'm going to show you the, the software that's available to download so you can deep dive and edit uh, on a screen uh, via a USB cable, which I've got hooked up at the moment. So I've got the software downloaded. Um, screen recording at the moment, and this is the uh, the V1 VO or the 5150 style head. <laughs> with matching cab. Matching cabinet uh, impulse responses with all of these. And I'll go through them from, from way to go. I've got uh, no reverb uh, or delay or any other effects added here. It's just a stock standard amp you're gonna hear. And um, hey, let's give it a go. First one, Jazz Clean. So uh, Roland Jazz Chorus uh, 120. Very clean. You can edit all of the parameters um, via the screen by interacting and interacting with them on the screen, or also on the unit itself. So touch any dial, and you've got the associated um, uh, control on the screen, also adjusting in real time. So there's my gain, uh, and you can access other parameters on the screen here. Um, that may not be editable um, on here, uh, on the on the screen. You can do it on the unit itself, and I'll show you that sh um, a bit later on. I really like, and I've just gone into clipping there because I've just bounced the level up. You've got separate power amp control, um, and I'm pointing to that on the on the screen on my Mac uh, for the screen recording. And in the valve emulations, you'll see it, it can change the uh, the bias. Um, simulated valve bias, and we'll get to that in a second. Right. Next amp, Jazz Chorus 120. Nice. Jazz. Nice. Deluxe reverb. And, I mean, that's sounding really full and deep cabinet-wise. You can drag the mic too, and... Uh, do off-axis um, miking or change the actual mic itself. Um, that's actually on the edge. Um, you can change the cabinet for each of these. I won't, um, but if we were changing from uh, yeah, and adjust the, the impulse response level as well, it's a frequency cut. You can go for, from an SM57 to a U87 here. Um, so you can really mess around with these and really fine tune and tweak the settings. On the screen, you can see the bias level uh, and look at the glow, the faint glow of the valves there. And we can actually, actually have them um, a little bit cooler. So you can cool the bias. Um, not running as hot, apparently. And uh, the more you tweak the bias, the hotter the valves go. Deluxe reverb. Um, you should be able to control the inputs on this. If I go to a uh, different page parameter, uh, page one of two, page two of two, let's go to page one. Right, input. Let's control the input. And we can go from input one to input two. Now, I don't think I can change that on this screen here. No, I can't. Um, oh, yes, I can. There we go. I can. So, uh, right click to access what you can do with parameters. There you go. Input high, input low. Which is fantastic when you get to some of the heads, which are um, two inputs, a bright channel and a normal channel, and then a high gain and a low gain. Uh, and you can 
effectively patch them as you might do with a, a 100 watt Marshall head for input. Right, that's two down. <laughs> Here's a base mate, uh, no prizes for guessing, Fender Baseman. Once again, grab the controls on the screen, edit, grab them on the unit, edit, change on the unit itself, and you get the reflection up here on the um, uh, on the software. Once again, you might want to put a 57 back on that. And that's an incredible change in, in EQ. I'm now going to the edge of the uh, speaker cone, sim simulating. But um, I'm going to go back to the, the U87, which is a lot fuller, a lot fuller and fatter. Um, that mic will stay with you as you go through your... Uh, no, it won't. It changes. There we go. Let's change to a C1, uh, C414. And here's our Tweedy, Fender Tweed. And here's where you can change with the mic inputs. So, input, instrument one. Instrument two. Go in the mic input. Um, different gain structure there, obviously. Give it a bit more tops, tone. And let's jump a uh, instrument and mic. You can see what I'm getting at here. Myriad ways of tweaking and shaping the sound. And and this is a this is a basic basic amp. But all in all, all great tones so far. Twin reverb. The Queen of Plain. Lovely. Let me just add a spring reverb to that, just because I can. All in all, uh, really nice sounding amps so far. High watt is high wire. <laughs> It's interesting that the master's flat, but you can go power amp level and give it that some more. Bring the power amp bias down. I'll bring it back up for hot, hot, hot. Once again, you can play with the uh, input jump of configurations. Input one bright. All the way to jump a normal two. Nice. There's a boogie, California Crunch. excuse not to get a, a, an exceptional tone out of this unit. Um, 
apart from that, the graphics are fantastic. Are the the graphics going to influence the, your perception of what you're hearing? Probably, <laughs> probably. But they're they're great and they feel good to play. Um, if that if that makes any sense at all, um, when you plug into an amp um, and your response can be fast or slow, um, and that's from your attack to the time you actually hear something. Get your Liverpool on. Um, class A15, uh, Vox AC15. Every day. Um, high and low input, you can change. So you might want to have it cleaner so it's the uh, guitar's not pushing the input um, and breaking it up too much. Pump your master up. And you can get some clean, you'll get some jangly stuff out of there. Back to humbucker mode. And single coil in the, in the neck pickup. You can get funky with that. AC15, right. And this this will be Big Brother, AC30, of course. You get the drift. Once again, change inputs. Yeah, input high, input low. So it's not breaking up as quick. Awesome. Here we go. It's plexi time. And that's without even starting to tweak this. Fantastic. And a Plexi 45. some fun with that one <laughs> uh, coming up the models in the Marshalls of JCM 800 Out of the box, very hot. Wow. <laughs> I hope this is uh, translating somewhat through whatever monitors you've got. Um, Oh, wow, 1970, uh, 1987 model, um, not the year, but the actual model, X, 50 watt.
Um, my producer's going to say, you haven't fixed that hum yet. Very close to a power amp. <laughs> Let's see what the noise reduction can do for us. Here we go. Oh. There we go. Off. Noise. On. No noise. Good. That's what we like. <laughs> All right. Going from the uh, 50 watt uh, to a Soldano. Mmm. <laughs> Get your high gain on. Here we go. Soldano, we love it. Here we go in a modded Marshall mode with a, a fireman. It's a Freeman. Um, the HBE, of course, is the Hairy Brown Eye model. <laughs> got amp controls on the unit yourself when you're dialing in the tone you can actually see the the amp model that you got <laughs> And here we get into um, tread plate, mesa boogie, dual rectifier. <laughs> this bit of kit this is a diesel That's nasty. <laughs> nasty, but but nice. We like it. Vibro King, here we go. Oh well god, god and nice. <laughs> Nice platform that you can build some tones on uh, when you start adding some drives, some compression, boosts, and uh, modulation, delays, reverb to this. Absolutely. Just another clean bass that you can start working with. Buddha. A lot of um, just variations on a theme, variations on a hot rodded Fender or variations on a hot rodded Marshall. Um, with all of these emulations, but they're all great. They're all got their their own vibe to them. And easy to edit. Dr. Z. Once again, 
once again, you can change inputs from low to high. Edit on the unit itself. These um, Dr. Z's, uh, 38, sort of got a quad of EL84s, I think, by memory. Sort of hot-rodded um, AC30s. There's somebody correct me if I'm wrong. It could be. I'm totally wrong. Um, I'm all for the the 15 to 30 watt um, EL84 output tube, tube amps. The, the early Marshalls and the early... Well, the early Marshalls and the Vox AC15s and AC30s using EL84 power valves, output valves. Love them. Prince Tone. Fender Princeton. Very simple amp. Um, gain based treble controls. Once again, dial that into tape. Make as spangly or sparkly as you want. Bluesbreaker. Here we are, Marshall Bluesbreaker. Brit Blues, it's called here. Because you've got to pull the obligatory faces when you're doing that. Nice. Matchless, once again another uh, AC30 variant. Cool. British Marshall, British uh, JCM 2000. So they're the really high gain marshals. Very cool. We've got three to go. Uber high gain. Downright nasty. Here's your fifty one fifty. We live in remarkable times. Ah, uh, and a lion star. One last amp. Which is a Mesa Boogie Lone Star. I do like this one. You've got a switch that is uh, for thick and thicker. And it actually toggles on the screen. Thick. We'll go back to thick. Thick. Needn't be dirty. (laughs) 
So you've got a drive and a gain control on this particular amp. There you have it. All of the amps, the 27 amps that are in uh, the new X Trident guitar processor. I think they sound fabulous. Um, this is an incredibly robust machine and at its price point, um, looking at six to seven hundred Australian here, it offers a whole lot of sonic goodness for use in the studio and live. Um, I'm going to be going through a lot of other features in this. I'll go through all the drives, all the modulations, the reverbs and the delays and other videos and its flexibility and setting it up for, for live use as well. Thanks for tuning in. Um, hey, we'll, we'll, we'll see you next time.